Praise the name of the Lord. I welcome all you dear children of God that are joining us. This is Apostle Justice. I welcome all of you. I greet all of you in the wonderful name of Jesus. I greet the worship center technons. I greet the champions of God that are all over this country, the champions of Jehovah in South Africa and the continent of Africa and the world. This is the day the Lord has made. We bless God Almighty for his goodness, for his mercy. This morning as we are, as you are joining me and I'm joining you in this service, I want us to begin by prayer. Wherever you are, I want you to join me now. I want you to lift up your hands like you are in a literal service because remember, Jesus said, where two or three are gathered in my name, in my name, there I shall be. So Jesus is with us. The Holy Spirit is with us. Angels of God are with us. The heavens are open because this is the day the Lord has made and God has got plans concerning us, good plans. And we want by prayer to ensure good see those plans are actualized because I must be quick to tell you wherever you are watching me now, I must be quick to tell you, dear child of God, that prayer, prayer enables God to fulfill, to carry out his good plans for our lives. When we pray, God intervenes. That's why he says, if my people pray, I will hear from heaven. I will heal their land. It means for God in heaven to intervene in my affairs, in your affairs, in your family affairs, in my family affairs, in the earth affairs. We must give him a license license him and the name of that license is prayer so whenever we pray you must know would say prayer is the most powerful act that a human being may engage in prayer is the most powerful powerful act that a human being may engage in. Why, Apostle? Because prayer done by a human being, it moves the God of heaven, my God, to pay attention to a human being on earth who is praying. Number two, that same prayer engages God. It causes Jehovah, it causes God. Jehovah says, Angenelele, I intervene into men, human beings affairs. So never forget what I told you today in case you never knew. Prayer is the most powerful act of a human being because prayer causes the God of heaven to intervene, to step in to help in men affairs. Hallelujah. The reason prayer is so difficult, the reason prayer is not easy for many people, it is because the devil hates prayer. He blocks prayer because it causes the mighty God of heaven to come and intervene in the affairs of a human being. And yet the devil wants to continue messing up the lives of human beings on earth. So for the devil to continue well without being disturbed, he blocks people from praying. Jesus said, men, people always ought to pray and never give up. Hallelujah. So today, this is Apostle Justice. We are still continuing on our discourse, pressing on. And the pressing on of today, we are going to press on, press into the throne of grace. Move God to intervene in our present situations. So get ready to pray. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I was still explaining prayer. Write this other point before we pray. Prayer stops the devil. When you pray, prayer stops the devil from carrying out his evil plans, his evil agenda against your life, against your family, against your business, against your job, against even your health. That's why whenever there's something evil coming, those who are spiritual, those who have trained their spirits, they can sense immediately heaviness in their spirits and they feel an urge to pray because God is alerting them that that devil is cooking something evil against them. Hallelujah. So prayer 
also has another powerful aspect. It blocks the devil. It stops the devil from carrying out his evil agenda against the people of God here on earth. That's why Jesus said men always ought to pray. I asked God many years ago. I said, God, before I become a man who is good in preaching, make me to be a man of prayer, a man who is good in prayer. Because if I pray well, I will preach well. If I pray well and good, I will walk well with you. Prayer, write it down. It is also a preserver of the Christian. If you are a woman and a man of prayer, you are a, pra a pastor who prays. You are a husband who prays. You are a married woman, a wife who prays. You are a young man, a young woman who prays. Prayer preserves. It's a preserver. It helps you, my God, to walk well with your God. Prayer blocks you and stops you from committing sin blunders. Prayer protects you from falling into the temptation of sin. That's why Jesus said in Matthew 26, 41, my God, he said, pray. Oh my God, Matthew 26, 41. Pray so that you don't fall into temptation. Pray so that you don't blunder. Pray so that you don't mess up. This is very big. What was Jesus saying? He was saying, when you are a praying man, a praying woman, a praying pastor, a praying bishop, a praying prophet, a praying young man, a praying young woman, a praying husband, a praying wife, you will not blunder. You will not mess up. Hallelujah. Because prayer fortifies you. When you pray, you are fortified. It means God imparts on you his godness. He imparts on you the God power. And by the God power, you are able to say no to everything which is not right. Prayer, when you are a woman and a man of prayer, prayer wins you. Prayer disconnects you from sinning. Prayer kills the sin appetite. Prayer kills the urge to do things that are not clean. When the devil wants to bring you down, when the devil wants to cause you to fall, the first thing he kills is prayer. Hallelujah. That's why Jesus said men, people, always ought to pray. Hallelujah. Why? Because prayer is a fortifier. Prayer is a defense. Prayer is a preserver. When you are a man and a woman of prayer, it will not be easy for you to fall into sin. It will not be easy for you to mess up and to blunder. It will not be easy for you to do things that are contrary to the Bible. It will not be easy for you, my God and my Father, to be brought down by your enemies. Your enemies may rise up against you. They may fight you. They may slander you. They may bad mouth you. But if you are a man and a woman of prayer, a pastor, a bishop of prayer, your enemies will always be defeated. You will always tower above them. You will always sail above every attack of the enemy through prayer. So what am I doing? I'm challenging everyone to step up, my God. Raise your prayer level to a higher level. Hallelujah. Because prayer is what ensures that you as a human being here on earth, you enjoy the backup of Jehovah. Praise the name of the Lord. When you pray consistently, you stay in the level of God. You stay in the presence of Jehovah. Hallelujah. Let us, let us pray now. I want to pray for you. As you are watching me now, joining us now, I want you to catch a very new special grace of 2021. The 
the prayer grace. Did you hear what I've said? I want to impart on you the prayer grace because as I'm standing here, I'm standing together with Yeshua Hamashiach, Jesus Christ, whose business I'm pushing now, whose agenda I'm propagating now. I'm standing with the Jesus for whom I campaign. I'm standing together with the Holy Ghost, my helper. And Jesus is going to use me to impart on you the spirit of prayer. If the devil kills your prayer grace such that you struggle to pray, let me tell you for free, you have become the devil's easy meat. A woman who does not pray, a, a man who does not pray, you become the devil's easy meat. What do you mean, apostle? It means it becomes easy for the devil to block all your good things, to sabotage all your good things, to frustrate your good things. Hallelujah. That's why if you look at the people of the Bible days, before they could embark on anything, they always prayed. Hallelujah. In this month, I want to challenge you so that you continue pushing yourself into a higher dimension of prayer. The year has moved from 2020 to 2021. Can you see what I'm illustrating here? We were in 2020, lower digit. We are now in 2021. So everything must be upscaled. Everything must be upgraded. Everything must be pushed to a higher level. Your prayer level for 2021 must be higher than the prayer level for 2020. Your revelations, your knowledge of the word of God, your knowledge, your revelations concerning the things of God must go to a higher level. Even your finances must go to a higher level. Your dedication, your devotion must go to a higher level. I prophesy in the name of Jesus that as we have moved from 20 to 2021, you are also being upgraded in every area of your life, in every department of your life. May the Lord my God upgrade you, shift you upwards, in Jesus' mighty name, because God Almighty wants you and me to prosper in all things and be in good health just as your soul prospers. This will be guaranteed by prayer. We need to be men and women of prayer. Let me pray with you and pray for you, dear child of God, dear brother, dear sister there, dear young man, dear young woman, whoever you are, let me pray for you to catch the prayer grace. We are now praying. Heavenly Father, my God and my Redeemer, Yahweh El Shaddai Adonai Elohim, God Almighty, ruler of the universe, creator of the heavens and the earth, Father God, our dear creator, Father of our Lord and our Savior, Jesus Christ, we come before you, my God, even this morning, I'm coming together with all your people that have joined me through this life service, Lord, my God broadcasted my father through the digital platforms by your wisdom and by your grace. Lord, I bring your people that are joining me now. I pray, almighty God, that as we pray now, release, my God, the influence of your Holy Spirit. Captivate us by the Holy Spirit. Move us by the Holy Spirit to enter the strong prayer realm, to engage a higher prayer gear in in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we are coming through Jesus Christ, our great high priest. We are coming by the help and the assistance of the Holy Spirit who helps us to pray the right way. And Father, we are coming into your holy presence. I'm coming with all your people who are now entering your holy, holy presence. We are now entering into the holy of holies with our spirits. Father God, we are entering through the new way that Jesus secured and obtained for us the way Jesus that he opened for us. The Bible says in the book of Hebrews, Jesus entered the Holy of Holies not with the blood of animals, not with the blood of bulls and goats, but he entered with his own precious blood and he secured for us eternal acceptance. So the blood of Jesus gives us access all the time into the holy presence of God. The blood of Jesus Jesus qualifies us to stand before the Holy
Holy God of heaven, the blood, the precious blood of Jesus, the blood of the new covenant, it guarantees our acceptance. By the blood, we are able to come boldly into your throne, almighty God. By the blood, we are able to access your holy presence. By the blood, Father, we are able to connect with our spirits, with our souls, even with our bodies in, into your Jehovah. I now come with your people. We are coming through the new way that Jesus opened for us. We are coming through the way of the blood. We are coming by the blood. We are coming through the blood. This prayer that we are praying cannot be blocked by evil forces because we are coming by the blood of Jesus. And the Bible says we overcome Satan by the blood. Father, I pray this morning. I pray, Almighty God, for every man, every woman listening to me, joining me now. I pray with them. I leave them up before your throne of grace. I pray, Jehovah God Almighty, that as we have begun the year, I pray, my God, that you strengthen them with power in the inner man. All of them, energize. my God and my Father, by inject with the Holy Ghost power for prayer. I pray, my God, that you release upon them the prayer grace, the prayer fire. Let everyone joining me now, Lord, through this point of contact, let them receive an impartation, an impartation of prayer, an impartation of grace to pray well, an impartation of grace to pray successfully in the mighty name of Jesus. Jesus, you are the one who said people always ought to pray. Help us, dear vine of life. You said in your word, you are the vine, we are branches. It means, Jesus, you are the one who empowers us. I pray that you touch your people right now. Release your strong anointing upon them. Release especially the influence of the Holy Spirit. Let the Holy Spirit move within them. Let the Holy Spirit move through them. Let the Holy Spirit move them into praying. In the name of Jesus Christ, my Lord, Babe Jehovah, I'm asking for the very most important, my God and my Father, act that you commanded us to engage in the act of prayer. I pray that you baptize all your people with the prayer grace. Baptize your people with the prayer grace. Baptize your people with a strong, fresh anointing in the mighty name of Jesus. And Lord, I pray that every one of your people who are listening to me now, Lord God Almighty, take them to a higher realm in terms of their connectivity with you. In Jesus' mighty name and Father God Almighty, I pray that you now open the understanding of your people. Let them comprehend the Holy Scriptures. As you speak your word by me, as you speak your word through me, my God, help your people to grasp, help your, help your people to understand, help your people to receive deep revelations from the things I'm going to speak. And Father, I commit all of them to you. I commit their families in Jesus' mighty name. Thank you, my Father. I give you praise. Holy Spirit, take over. Let your people begin to feel your strong anointing. Yes, they are anointing of the Holy Ghost is coming upon you. I can feel it here. I know it's coming on you right now. Holy Spirit is moving you, moving your spirit, stirring your spirit. Hallelujah. He's bringing a new hunger, a, a new longing. You want more of the things of God. Even as you are listening to me pray in the name of Jesus, may the Lord my God strengthen you with power in the inner person. May you become strong in the inner man. May God fill you with wisdom. May God fill you with new courage. May my God fill you with new hunger. May my God position you, my God, on the pathway of his will for 2021 so that you can walk on that way of his will from this time up to the end of the year. And right now, as we go into his word, may God give you a deeper understanding in Jesus' name. Amen. <music>